All right, we are back with Total War Warhammer 2, playing as Tic-Tac-Toe. On the last episode, we started off our ritual, and we've just been taking care of some of these Chaos factions. Uh, they actually hit us from two fronts, which was a little difficult to deal with, but I think we, we kind of got lucky because my main uh, army, Tic-Tac-Toe, was over at this so southern section, and I already had prepared two armies here, so... We're good there. I think we already completed this turn. Yeah, everything looks like it's already set. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go to the next one. Like Suttenberg's winning the fight against uh, whatever faction that one is of the Tomb Kings. Pretty easy win here. We got that uh, turn of replenishment, so everybody's up to fighting speed, and this ambush is going to help us get an easy auto resolve for this one. Um, probably get some treasury. I think that'd be fine. Another ambush here. I unfortunately don't have it in my favor though, which sucks. Means I'll have to fight. Okay, well. Let's go ahead, quick save, and we'll continue on with this. Hmm. Looks like it'll be an easy win. Uh, even though the power was not in our favor there. Two ancient salamanders will do work. Although, they did get nerfed. Uh, this is going to be on the Amethyst update, which just happened. Uh, so this has all those little balances in it. Uh, it nerfed some of the new units, like the ancient salamanders, for one, got nerfed quite a bit. Um, you actually look at them now they're a bit bigger they have much less range uh, but I think they're a little more capable of uh, like fighting or like in a melee fight they can break out easier something like that let me see here they're charging there I want all my melee units just right in here That's nice. They don't have any range, so I can just focus my pterodon like right on top of them. Right there. Probably need to try to get on those Chaos Knights, get them down a bit. Oh, those would be nice. All hooked up. We'll have my anti large, right? Oh, he isn't actually. Huh. Oh, this one. This one is the anti-large. This is the Lord, so he'll go off against the other Lord, which is a Warlock, so I should have an easy win there. He does have some abilities there that will help out. The ward save and all that. The initial charge. My Skink Priest. Gonna back him up, I think. Go after the Lord. Maybe I should focus on the Knights with that. Yeah, let's focus on the Knights. I think the knights will cause me more trouble than anything else. Melee specialist is gonna help with the chaos spawn because he's anti-large. The priest, I guess, can maybe back up the lord. I do have the drop rocks, although that won't do much. Do you not have spells? I guess he doesn't have any spells right now. Unless... Blind? I guess he doesn't have spells right now. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. My skirmishers. Oh man, where do I put you guys? I guess I can probably help focus down these spawns. 
Riders, I want you there. Ancient Salamanders, you can kind of go towards the back here. Probably going to have you on these Chosen. Chosen are higher tiered, right? Yeah. They're the, the higher tiered boys. Definitely on the Chosen, so put them a little closer. And we are set here. Gamble, might as well. Seven isn't that much. Okay, that didn't increase. I think that increased maybe the wins, but not the actual number there. Our reinforcements are way in the back. They're probably not going to even help in this fight. We won't need them anyways, I don't think. So let's start it off. Quickly get these guys um, focused on the Chaos Knights. I also want to run these into the Chaos Knights as well. I'm going to have these guys locked and go ahead and attack with them. We'll charge up all together. These ones I need to focus chaos spawn with. Actually, maybe 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 you guys take on the uh, cannon there. I should have grouped these. Let's go ahead focus on the chosen with great weapons. Our lord can go after their lord along with Mister Missile Missile Specialist. Or no, that's right. I was going to go on the chaos knights with the missile specialist. And then you go on the chaos spawn. You don't want to get you closer for now. Okay, I think we're set. You know what? Get on them real quick. I want to have that. Uh, yeah, on the chaos knights. There you go. Oh yeah, go on the lances actually. I have two skirmishers there, two on the chaos spawn. Oh, these are getting torn up. Back off, back off. Doing all right. Can get some curse of the midnight winds over on this chunk. Let's get some more units over here. We don't need to focus all of these on these guys. Do some ward save, and that that'll help out a bit. Okay, just get on the cannon. I think that might go better. Let's go ahead and focus on these lances, Mister Missile Specialist. Get on the lances as well. Try to pin them down. Guys. Here, why don't you take out the cannon? Because everybody else is having fucking issues with it, apparently. Where is my priest? Go up this way. You can use some. Or right, let's do some. This. Them again. Get rid of that lord, please. That magic is not good for us. Okay, that unit is pretty much dead. How much armor do you have? 30? You're not worth putting in the fight. You'll fucking die before anything else. Here, get on all of these dudes. Get some nice hits there. Okay, so those knights are kind of routing. Let's get you in the chunk of them. Man, take out. I can't believe that's still going. Come on, guys, please. All of you need to focus on just, just hit whoever you can over here. Doing that. You attack these dudes. Okay. Let's get our lord in the mix of the fight. This can help. Um, maybe that unit. I'm not gonna bother with the reinforcements. They're not gonna get here in time to help out at all. I don't think so. Unless, do I have any flyers? I don't think I do. 
So, um, yeah, nobody's gonna get here in time. Even health. Oh. Yeah, I guess I might as well try to bring them all over here. Just get in the fights. There they are. That buffed up. And everybody's broken. We are good to go. Try to have this play out a little bit longer. See who maybe we can get down a bit more. We probably won't die from this ambush, I don't think. That's probably about it we're gonna do there. Rel Humongous. <laughs> My name is Hugh Mungus, don't you know? Actually took quite a bit of casualties there. Not ideal. I really wish the reinforcements were maybe in a more useful spot. I could have used them to help, but... Like, the fight was over before they would have even got here if I put them in right as they got there, so... Kinda is what it is, right? Um... I actually do have a need for money. But I don't want the negative re, re uh, punishment. Although they did lose a lot of their units. Chosen, spawn, a lot of their problematic units, especially. Let's go ahead and just take the treasury. I do need more money. That really sucks. Do I even have a chance? I don't think so. That compared to this dude, I could definitely win. But just with how many great weapons they have, I don't think I'll end up winning it. Let's just auto resolve. I actually got that. Okay, well, that's normal difficulty giving that to me. <laughs> I shouldn't have won that, I don't think. You know what? Their army just like appeared. Okay. Ooh, third on riders, cold ones, sticking on pistolodons. Interesting. I actually would rather have. Hold on, can I put that on tic tac toe? That'd be crazy. Although I guess it would be probably less worth it for him. Let me see. That's going to be interesting. Lower them even more. <laughs> Got an upgrade. Let me see. Uh, yeah, definitely jungle toxins. That'll be handy. Um, let's... Can I actually just get to you normally? I can. Right, watch this dude out. It's a the experience, I suppose. Okay, cool. So we dealt with both our our ritual factions, so we're good to go there. Um, be the next step for us here. You guys are so weak. How do they not want a confederation yet? This pissed me off. I think it might just be that they don't like me enough. A small gift. I figure that's what it is, because he's so weak, there's no way he wouldn't take it, like... You, you're kind of strong. I don't think I'm ever going to confederate with them. I might have to end up just taking them out. Even... Uh, it might not be worth it, because they don't have a ritual site. I can't believe we won the fight that happened here. That's kind of crazy. 
That's good. I like that. Got an upgrade now. Um, doing this. I need to upgrade uh, Tic Tac Toe's army. Oh, another thing that got happened in the patch notes was a croak actually got weaker, which sucks. But I mean, he was pretty strong to be honest. <laughs> Uh, these, I think, do a lot less damage now or something like that, which, again, sucks, but he was strong, so. Um, just continue down this one. And let's go ahead and run back to home base. I really need to upgrade some of the units in... Uh, Tic Tac Toe's army. Got an upgrade. Honestly, I just want to focus on getting upkeep reduction in all these armies. I think that's going to be the most important thing. As soon as I get that, I can start getting another army and stuff and upgrading some of the ones in these units. It'll be good to go. Boost income. You're going to be in home base most of the time. Probably start getting some better stuff here. More Blade Master. They all have 2020 still, so good there. Go ahead, go back in. Get some more replenishment. The upgraded? Noise. Good stuff there. This can be upgraded as well. Or. Let's see. Great with these guys. Valiant Lord. Yes? Exactly is this territory? Hold on. Suddenberg, I don't have treaties with, right? Don't. Okay. I might be going after Suddenberg pretty soon here with these two armies in home base. And then I'll use Tic Tac Toe to go and go on the uh, the Western continent. Start trying to take some uh, plaque locations. Armored Guys, so you're up here in this area. And Protector you're of the this realm. whole side. I might not want to trade with them. Only getting like 93 from both of them. But yeah, I don't think it'll be worth it. I might be fighting him pretty soon here. I just want to take this top continent. I think that would be best. Um, we're good to go here. Now, continue on. Serve the magic. Yeah, yeah, I didn't do that one. This is third on rider speed. Nice. Nice. You've got an upgrade. We're going to service. Go get closer to home base. Oh, what uh, what units do I have in blessing? I have a Carnosaur. Ooh, that might be worth including in one of these armies. How much is the upkeep if I put it in like Tacto? Tech Tech Only two hundred. What do you have? Are you, uh... I guess you're just strong. Can't see any... Huh. 
would I replace is the question. Maybe cold one riders I could give to somebody else. If I don't... Are any of the things I'm gonna hit gonna apply to cold ones? Oh, these do. Okay, that might... It might be worth keeping in there. I'm gonna go into... This. Which actually does apply to cold ones as well. Okay, so it might be more worth it to keep cold ones in this army. Um... I need, like, at least six units of front guard just to defend. Yeah, I don't think I really want to get rid of anything, so maybe a different army. Maybe, maybe I replace the Stegodon. Stegodon isn't that great. Like, I don't know what it's good for, to be honest. I think I'm using it wrong, but... It's good with... Like, the only reason I would want to use it is as a siege attacker, and the Feral Carnosaur would be much best, uh, much better at that, because it would actually eliminate the gate faster. So it might be worth, uh... <laughs> get rid of maybe one of these units. And you can have my... Tegadon. Which is going to increase the upkeep of it, but... Whatever, fine. Get this hero carnosaur. Or the blessed carnosaur. I think that's what we're gonna do. Upgrade. Look at that. To go research, what do we have? Ammunition for pterodon riders, for sure. And our turn. Our diplomacy here, actually. Sorry, here. Exultation. Definitely improving. Let's go ahead and give him more, more gifts. I really want to confederate with them. I think they only have this one settlement. So. Maybe I should just fucking kill them off. Better that way. Ugh. I don't want to piss off other lizardmen factions, though. The thing, because that that'll for sure, like, prevent confederations. Really weird. I was playing a campaign with a friend, and I was able to confederate way easier. Like, on a harder difficulty, because we play on, like, hard or very hard or something like that. I forget which, but I was able to confederate easier on hard. <laughs> Go figure. I think the armies might have gotten eliminated of one of the factions, though. That's probably what, what did it for me. <laughs> Not yet. Hmm. You've been upgraded so I can get some more stuff in you now. That, that'll help. Let me check what else I have to do. Cool. You can almost reach it. They're all good. You have an upgrade. Ah, uh, you've just unlocked this as well. What do I even want here? What does this do? Um, that's not that great. <laughs> Probably one of these. I don't have the money for it, though. Increases by 2%. This... It won't be that much. I should probably focus on this over here. Yeah, it's 25 thou. Thought it'll cost 25 thou, but that'll be worth, I think. Alright, next turn. I probably should have saved up and sent some intervention, so maybe prevent these guys from doing their stuff, but... Eh, not an issue right now.
once it starts to get to like the next few rituals then i'll have to pay more attention because they are kind of staying on pace with me which is a little dangerous good Awakening, ferocity. Why can I use this? Oh, I already have too many. Right, I have one on the field already. Good to go there. Don't need to be upgraded. You're just too pricey, is what's happening. And this one as well, too pricey. Right. Let's get you in there. Get you in normal stance. And how can I upgrade? Oh, so upkeep would go up by about 60, which sucks, but. I think it's definitely worth it, right? In that. Yeah, these guys have way less armor, less leadership, less melee defense. Although they, these are stronger. They have perfect vigor. Oh, you know what? Huh. But with the buffs from my, my leader tree, it's gonna get to the point where these guys are much better, I think. Although I lose anti-large, don't I? But gain armor piercing. I think that's worth it, yeah. So let's... Oh, you know what? I don't want to get rid of these guys. I want to put them in someone else's armor. Yeah, I'll trade, trade him. So let's start doing that. Um... You can get rid of some of these. Let's start off with like these three first. And I'll trade you. My three. Okay, now you'll have those arms. Um, how many can I recruit a turn? Get oh, I can get like all of them. Turn. Here, uh, I forgot to disband them. Let's just do that. And ban these guys. Go ahead with recruit all these temple guards. So I need five of them. I just, just had enough money for that. Oh, you know what? Hold on. It might be worth using Rite of Ferocity right now. Let's instead... I guess I'll recruit three of them for now and use this. Oh wait, I have to... I have to stop the recruitment and restart it to gain the effects. Right. Yeah, much better. Quite a bit higher. Okay, so do that for now. Can't... I'm not gonna be able to do anything else this turn because I have no cash now. Yeah, let's go ahead next turn it. I also need to switch out my pterodons for bol bolas, because I think bolas are just ten times better than the, the regular pterodons, damage-wise at least. A lot more helpful than poison. Gaven pretty soon. Still recruiting that. I can 
choose you luck. Don't you like Oh, plus three for all units. That'll come in handy. But that's gonna take five turns. Never mind. That'll take way too long. Let's just go ahead and recruit more of these dudes. So two of those. I'll have the money to upgrade the Pterodon Riders. Oh, it'll suck to lose their bonus though. Oh, never mind. They come back at full level. Okay, that's more worth it. <laughs> Maybe I should get rid of this one too. <laughs> and then just upgrade them. Um, how much does, do they cost? They only cost 563. Wait, they have no upkeep cost in this army? Huh. Okay. Oh yeah, they don't. They cost zero. Maybe I should just have a whole Pterodon army. That would be sick. That's probably not the most strategic move, but that would be really good money-wise. Have like 20 Pterodons right in, just blasting everybody. <laughs> I think they get grounded if you don't have any units though, so that would suck. Uh, let's kick them all out. And then I can get... Oh, I can only get one or two right now. Whatever, that's fine. Two bolas. Oh, was one of them blessed? I hope not. I wasn't paying attention. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, so two for now. Uh, I do have a little bit of money. Can I improve anything here? Uh, nothing's really helping me money-wise there. That's what I really need, is just money. Oh wait, get on that. I need like some of these. These these give bonuses and money and all that. Got uh, income from all buildings. Okay, I'll wait. Anyone? Op knots. They're in this campaign? What the fuck? That'll be good. Oh, that finally happened. Oh, they're all the way over there. Okay. Um, who have we discovered in that case? Apparently nobody. Is that bugged? All major port owners have become known to each other via diplomacy. I don't see any other... Whatever. Whatever game. Keep your secrets. Frodo would say. Rolling skies I just find so like use useless against most of the factions we're fighting. I want Midnight Wind. Yeah. Keep that going. Okay, what do we need on you? We need another Bola. Other upgrades we can get? Maybe we can upgrade the cold ones to something, something else. Um, But for now... Another Bola. Be nice to have some Croxigar, but I don't think they would fit in on this army anywhere. What are Croxigar again? Are they anti-large? No, they're just armor-piercing, anti-infantry. Or not anti-infantry, just armor-piercing it looks like. I 
Oh, you, you do. You are good against infantry. Okay. Um. Ones. Oh, you know what? I don't even have that building. That's why I, I can't recruit any. Yeah, I don't have that built. Okay, well, I guess we're not doing that. Fine. I don't really need them. It'd also be cool to have like one of these in uh in here, maybe like a engine of the gods or something. But the the army is already kind of stacked. If I'm being honest, like I think we're good as is. Um. Finish off that. That's about to finish, so I can upgrade some of that. I don't know what to build any. Man. That'll increase income. That'll have some update, upkeep reduction for Terradon Riders again, which I don't even need at this point. They're at zero for me. These are at three? Holy sh. That's nuts. At some point, if I get like another army built up, I might just go straight on Pterodon army with this one. And then Tic-Tac-Toe will be kind of like a support unit. So I'll have him reinforce another main army and then he'll just fly in from reinforcement range because he'll get there fast because of all the Pterodons. And... <laughs> That'll be fun. Uh, eventually we might do that. Eventually. Can I start war with the these guys? The talk is over. Make your demands. Man. Okay, it's been ten turns. Like. Okay, I might do that after I've done all these reinforcements. Let's get you pushed up. <laughs> Start all of that. You go to Sun Tree Glades. Research. I need. What did we do last time? Get this. Old ones. That'll be nice. Philodons. Stegodons. More upkeep production for all the fucking Pterodon riders. Cost nothing. Do they eventually start paying me to use Pterodons? <laughs> Uh, let's start with the source stuff, because this will be nice for the upkeep reduction. We'll boost up sources and temple guards. Okay, I think that might be the way to go. 100%, holy sh... That might actually be nice. With like a gold mine? Oh. That would be easy. What haven't I built this? Grand Plaza? What is a Grand Plaza? Oh, maybe I should... I should upgrade, like, one of these... I guess so I can unlock that. That'll be good for the growth and stuff. Um, I'll do that next turn, I suppose. I don't have money to do it now. Um, we're good to go. Oh, I should have checked diplomacy with the other factions real quick. You just want to confederate instead, bro? No? Oh, wait. I don't like you. Uh, nope, that ain't gonna happen. 
They're actually rank six, which is a little scary, but I'm pretty sure we can take them out real quick with these three armies. I really hope I don't get involved with the or Elazor fight going on with Zultland. What kind of ally am, am I with Zultland again? Oh, defensive allies. I think they attack, so I'm good there. I serve the king. That's really bad, though. They're like. <laughs> Hopefully Zotland maybe loses an army and then I'll be able to confederate. That would be very nice. Why wait, why are you going down? Great power and then trade agreement. Okay, whatever. Fight me. TikTok Um go ahead and upgrade this so I unlock that tech tree. Can't really do anything important with You've been upgraded. More money, though. Guts. Okay. Um, probably shield of Safari would be nice. But you know what? First, arcane conduit. That'd be better. At least for now. Okay, so we are good to go here for a fight. Um. Who are your allies? Your man gods and dubious any. masters have no place here. Prospector's right there. That's not really a deal. Let's go ahead start to position ourselves to take them over. Boundary line is right there, huh? Go ahead, use. Use these two armies. Kind of push on them, and then I want you to position yourself right about there so I can kind of kind of go after whoever's going to attack me up here if they choose to do so. Um, yeah, I don't think I can really upgrade anything good right now. Got all the money buildings and stuff. Okay. Anyone? Kakromatu unka sikal. Like you better rate not military alliance. You even have an army, Crocscar. Why are you fucking not confederating with me? So annoying. That's bad. They're probably gonna press cast on my lane, which is nice. Oh, I'm good, dude. You shouldn't attack them. Causing me a lot of fucking trouble. Hopefully they get shit on Lotland so they can uh federate with me. The Cosmos engine was activated as the plaques foretold. But it was not brute force alone that turned the gears. Knowledge was the spark of ignition. Ignorance is a chasm. Knowledge is the bridge that will deliver us from peril. Check one down. Right. That's completed. I'll be complete this turn too, and I'll be able to see kind of where they're at. Um, but we've got a few turns until like huh? upgrade for you. Oh, speed not that great. Bottomless quiver. 
I feel like he already has so much ammunition. Yeah, 87. Or 82 without that. Um... Really know what would be best for him. I won't ever have him as a melee fighter. I just want him to be an opportunist like Ranger to try to take down lords and stuff. But I guess maybe Quiver's the way to go, just cause. Yeah. Not. Alright, let me see. We're at. Um, thousand. I might as well complete this. Unless I have something else going on, I need to spend money on. Probably not. Upgrade. Two. No, more than two turns. That. Three thousand left. I should give a gift to what's his face here. The face. The you yeah, That's good to go. All right, and I think I'm gonna end the video there. We're pretty much primed for war uh, with Sunbird. We'll wipe them off the face of this continent and gain some land up north here we need it for more cash and maybe we'll take out the uh tomb kings as well eventually something like that hopefully this war with tor elizor will finally push uh lotland to the brink and take out some of their armies so i can confederate with them because they have a lot of land over here that would complete some provinces provinces for me pretty nice if i could Kind of get this southern part of the continent under my control. It'd give me a lot more income and stuff, for sure. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead, comment, uh, like, or subscribe. If you didn't like the video, you could also dislike just to let me know how I'm doing. Uh, I'm Scarecrow J, and thanks for watching.